Hey guys, welcome back to my client spotlight series. And today we are being met with the amazing Niti Savla. So Niti, I want you to introduce yourself to all of us. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I am an intuitive body wisdom activator and I absolutely love working with women leaders uh, who are in business or who are women leaders in corporate. I help them to really tap back into their intuitive wisdom and create the life that they really love, whether it's in terms of business and abundance or it's in terms of their health and well-being. So yeah, that's what I do. Love that. Oh my God, Niti, I love that. I love your energy. Guys, can everyone check by Niti's energy? Oh, it's just amazing. So contagious. And Niti, I want to start with actually, I want to start with thank you. Thank you for signing up for Sacred Feminine Pleasure. Thank you for being open to being coached. Thank you for being open to doing the shadow work and really getting into the nitty gritty of your healing. Like, um, so I just thank you for like going within. And I really want to like exp express that gratitude to you because you made the container so amazing. Your energy is so contagious. The questions you asked every single week were so delicious. And I loved coaching you. So we're going to get started. I want to ask you a question. What made you sign up for Sacred Feminine Pleasure? Thank you so much. So um, really, honestly, um, multiple things. First of all, you know, I've been connected to you for a while now. You know, we've had multiple conversations. Uh, I've always been, you know, gaining so much value from your content. I've DM'd you so many times already, you know, sharing how I really appreciate your unique perspectives, how I really appreciate the fact that you, uh, you know, uh, spirituality and God is at the center of the work that you do. Uh, which very many coaches really kind of shy away from talking about, even though that may be true for them. Um, so I really love that about you. And, uh, you know, I, I just kind of uh, realized that I had, I had gone through a fairly traumatic year uh, before Sacred Feminine Pleasure in terms of a lot of health trauma, a lot of body trauma, uh, and a lot of business trauma as well, because I had to give up lots of pieces of my business to get well first. Right. So it was it was a fair, fairly painful period filled with grief for me. <clears throat> and um, I really had this feeling that this program would be the right container to transmute those emotions uh, and, you know, do my last bit. Like I had done 90 percent of the, the, you know, the heavy lifting uh, in terms of healing. But like that last 10 percent was dragging on for way too long. And I really wanted to kind of quantum leap that and move through that in a deep transformational and effective way um, and that's really why I joined to get that momentous leap forward in my journey through um, the last phase of healing so that I could jump back into the business that was thriving before I had to take a break so that's really this was like the vehicle to move back into momentum however to do that without any push or pressure uh, rather or without any goal setting or you know all of that stuff rather to do it with joyful easeful playful fun and light energy while simultaneously still healing what needed to be healed without kind of bypassing it so that's really a combination of reasons as to why I joined this container um, and why I chose to join a container with you as well mm, oh gosh Niti I love that and the work that you've been doing on yourself has been so phenomenal. Like, I love how intuitive you really are, Niti. Like, you know your body so well. You know, like, you can figure out what's going on with you. And it's just like you said, it was just about that 10% of being in a container where you can rapidly dissolve whatever was left behind and quantum leap to your next level, which I love. So what was your experience like with Abundance Rewiring? So um, I think, first of all, I just like, to tell people a couple of things um a lot of people might be having this doubt right is like is this container for muslim women because you know there are so many women in your world that are muslim women right that look a certain way and i just want to clarify uh, that i am not a muslim woman uh, in technical terms on this earth however um there are so many common principles that we all as women experience whether it is feminine energy whether it is, uh, you know, masculine energy and all the toxicity around both of these energies, whether it is health challenges, whether it is toxic relationships, whether it is uh, emotional patterns, whether it is, um, you know, uh, health patterns that we've been going on, <clears throat> going, uh, going on experiencing for decades, 
whether it is certain uh, business challenges, whether it is certain uh, mindset blocks uh, and certain energy leaks. These are common irrespective of what religion you follow, right? <clears throat> this is purely by virtue of being a woman living on this earth. And I just wanted to share that that's what ab abundance rewiring really, <clears throat> uh, really ends up addressing is the common three themes and threads that every woman on this earth goes through irrespective of what she's like uh, and uh, what her story is. And that's what Rose is really good at dealing with through abundance rewiring is all these themes. So no matter what you experience, whether it is abuse, whether it is uh, health challenges, whether it is, uh, you know, a desire to start a business, but you're unable to put your voice out there, whether it is childhood trauma, she's able to deal with literally all of it. And <clears throat> that's what was amazing for me as well about abundance rewiring is that how universal it was yet deeply applicable to each of us intuitively present there because before each abundance rewiring session she kind of asked us what our challenges were in that area and we all shared that and she intuitively incorporated those in the healing of that session very very appropriately and very very beautifully as she was guided from a higher power and that's what I really loved about abundance rewiring is that it was so universal and however still so tailored to each woman present in that room at that point of time uh, and it would be continuing to be universal for any woman that jo ever joins the container irrespective of her religious beliefs and I really wanted to put that out there because um, people might be sitting on the fence wondering about oh would this abundance rewiring work for me if I don't connect with Allah as an idea right that has nothing to do with the deep experience of healing that is possible for you when you tap into this container. And I just wanted to put that out there for people uh, who may not know that, looking oh, outside in. That is amazing. Aniti, thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you for saying that. Um, Because of course, all of us are connected. We all want, we all want energy. We're all manifesting each other in our environments. We're all part of each other. And I love the fact that you just mentioned that it doesn't matter about your religious belief. Like I'm Muslim, you're not Muslim. That never was a problem in the container. Like our religious beliefs were never a problem because we're all sharing the same feeling we're all going through our own shame our own feelings our own belief system and I just love the fact that you just mentioned that so thank you so much Niti for sharing that with us um so what was your specific breakthroughs what what big transformations did you have during the eight weeks so um I have had transformations on multiple levels on the mind level on the energetic level on the business level on the relationship level <clears throat> and you know, just on a collective level as women together. Uh, and I want to just kind of share uh, those. So in terms of my mind, really, um, what Rose is really good at doing is helping women who are in the container to really, really catch their mind traps, right? The mindsets, traps as sabotage patterns 24-7, right? For someone, it may be like a procrastination pattern that their mind has created for them. For someone else, it may be a health pattern, that their mind has created as a protective mechanism. For someone else, it may be a toxic relationship that you're staying in to protect yourself from putting yourself out there. For someone else, it may be, um, you know, something else. So really, she helped me catch my own mind traps. And um, when I was doing a trek, I mentioned this during our program as well. I was doing a trek of 5,000 steps one way. And that was like a three to four hour trek while dealing with health challenges. And uh, I was able to really do the uh, check with so much ease. I used to be the kind of person who would put pressure on myself, who would always want to be first in the check, who would want to compete with everybody else and just like reach the summit first, right? And uh, what I did during this check was listen to my body. I did not complete the check. I completed like certain milestones in the check. And then I, me and my husband realized that this was not matching our body and we would not be able to complete the last leg of the check. So we came back and we, we reached... Uh, we reached before everyone else. However, we didn't complete the check and this was not even on my mind, right? So this could literally, I could tell that my competitive spirit is gone. Uh, my spirit to, you know, <clears throat> be, be better than everyone else was gone. And I could just really enjoy the journey versus being in the pressure to be first or to win or to reach somewhere, right? So I think that was one of the mind traps that kind of got released uh, and I could really enjoy the journey. And that's a result of, the feminine energy that's a result of the mind mastery and emotional mastery tools that you taught in the program and obviously just your energy right like when you are able to pick up people's traps 
you know, people who are listening in the container will be able to pick up their own traps if you are intuitive enough, right? So I think that's what happened on my mind level. Uh, and this is an example of how that changed the quality of my experience. I would have done the trek even before, but it would have been with push and pressure versus joy and ease, right? So that's the difference with when you're operating the same life with toxic masculine energy versus really powerful feminine energy, right? So I think that's what one of the breakthroughs was on the mind level. Um, then on the energetic level, um, I was feeling quite blocked and fearful and unsafe to tap back into business, uh, you know, with the fear of my health getting spiraled out. And I just want to say that I landed three to four clients during the space of the program. And um, it was so easy. It was so fun. I did not, I'm not even on social media uh, at all. I don't post anything uh, because I'm like, I don't even need to right now. So um uh, and I think that that momentum is something that I was really, you know, seeking and it happened so easily without really, um, you know, pushing myself or setting any goal, right? So I think that's another um, amazing thing that happened on the energetic and the business front. We worked a lot on, uh, you know, the energy of money as well for myself. And so there were a lot of breakthroughs in that space for me um, to really befriend the energy of money to fall in love with money and to own my money story. Um, so that was another big breakthrough for me uh, because my money story is fairly different from the women in the online space that I'm surrounded by. Um, and so just owning that was really powerful um, and owning my desires on a deep level as well was a huge quantum leap <clears throat> breakthrough for me. Um, and uh, lastly, there was a lot of uh, women that in the container that had relationship challenges um, and just just by being a mere observer of how Rose coached them to really move their relationship to an even more pleasurable level um, I was able to just move it without even desiring it in the first place I didn't even desire to have anything happen in my relationship but it just up leveled on its own simply by being in the container watching her coach other people so that was a breakthrough I didn't even seek and I got it anyway um, and lastly, <clears throat> there was just a lot of collective healing that happened during the abundance rewiring sessions, as well as during our one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, moments in our group sessions. So there was a lot of collective energy and healing around feminine, masculine energy, around money, around, uh, mindset, around relationships, around body health. Um, the works you name it and we've touched upon it in the container so yeah these were all the breakthroughs that I had um, and obviously as a coach myself there were just a lot of breakthroughs witnessing how amazingly a group container can be run so that was just those were just breakthroughs for me personally as a coach uh, to just witness the amazing fluidity energy and ease with which you held space for such a diverse set of women so that was just a delight in bonus to the experience of breakthroughs that I had personally, which I sought through the program. So yeah, that's my experience across the different arenas that we touched upon in the program. Oh, Neeti, congratulations. Of course you did. You're Neeti Savla, like, duh. Of course you did. Of ah! I'm just literally like fangirling over you right now, Neeti. How amazing you are. I love the fact that you were you were able to figure out the answers within yourself. Like you were able to figure out, okay, I can see myself in that light and I know what's going on within me. Let me go and figure it out. Let me go and coach myself. So I love the fact that you were, you were open to being coached. And I think it's very important that because you're a coach yourself, you know how group containers run. You know how important it is to hold yourself accountable, hold yourself responsible and be open to being coached. So I love that of course you got these breakthroughs like I'm not surprised I'm actually not surprised at how amazing your breakthroughs have been so one final question what would you say to someone who's on the fence of investing in sacred feminine pleasure so um I think definitely I already touched upon if you're not Muslim and you have these doubts uh I am the evidence that if you're I think if you're a spiritual deep intuitive person who seeks transformational healing and is willing to be held no matter what religion you are, you're going to just love it so much. So I think I want to put that point number one out there for people who are on the fence for this very reason. Um, the second thing is, if you're on the fence about, you know, will I really get what I want out of it? Um, Rose is so versatile. Like if you need only help on your relationships, 
you will get exactly what you need if you need only help on money you will get exactly what you need if you need help only on your energetics and your blocks you will get what you need so she's so versatile and she has the ability to coach people through any kind of challenge because she doesn't channel uh, she doesn't use certain set formula of coaching um like oh i use this regression therapy this tapping technique right it's not technique based it's so intuitive based uh, intuition based and when you're speaking out what you need help with she's already processing in her own unique way and has already gotten something exactly what you need downloaded and it can support you right so i think i just want to put it out there that um you know most coaching containers solve one problem right it's like oh this is a sales um sales training academy right or this is like a a uh, business growth academy however sacred feminine pleasure has something for you for everyone in it um if you are intuitive ready to heal and you want to quantum leap your growth in any of these areas that she mentions in her posts around money business energy um uh you know and all of that good stuff your relationships etc so i think um if people are on the fence and will it work for me as long as you're willing for it to work for you it will because um literally she has every tool you could imagine in her toolkit um and she doesn't even use all of them she literally just downloads what you need and it's so customized um and you'd never ever have had such customized coaching in a group container before um so yeah i think that's what i would like to say is that as deeply as you're willing to go she has the capacity to hold space for that Oh, you're making me cry, Niti. I'm so glad that you you realized everything that in the coaching was all downloaded. It wasn't something that I prepared for. And when I was coaching all of you, it was just like I could literally hear things. I was like, okay, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. This is what she needs. And I'm so like I feel so honored that you saw that during the coaching container. That feels so like that feels that means a lot to me, Niti. So thank you so much for sharing that. Oh my God, I love you. Where can people find you? So they can find me on Facebook. They can find me on Instagram. It's the same name, Neeti Savla, and they'll see me there. Oh, thank you so much, Neeti. I enjoyed this conversation with you. Have a great day. Thank you.